I don't think either of Snake Eyes' characters are the best solutions. Yeah, 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 I agree. So I, agree. I guess I guess he's going with the character that he's more comfortable with, which is saying Geef against Mago Karen from Japan. Yeah. I mean, I, I've played this match from the Karen side, and the thing that scares me the most, obviously, is the jumps Fight. from Zangief. Yeah. Because, uh, again, her, I, I say this all the time, but her anti-airs aren't the greatest. Sure. But, you know, if you can play this good footsie game, if you can do air-to-air anti-airs, or if you keep mixing it up and not, it can be a pain for Zangief to get through this game right here, that standing medium kick. But you also have to be careful about the um, the V skill for Zangief. I was wondering well. why Mago was backing off to a range where his buttons don't work anymore, but he was in order to set up the jump. So a smart man. And there you see one of the problems too is I think Karen's stand roundhouse crush counters Zangief's fears. Yes, it does. Yeah, so he can't absorb that one. Yeah, you really. It, yeah, I mean there aren't too many reasons to use charged fears as Geef in this matchup. Snake Eyes trying to sneak in there with a dash into EX SPD. Not going to get it. Gets the jump in. Now, oh. see, there's one of the things that Snake Eyes has not learned to get away from. Is that when he lands that jump, he always goes into low jab. If you think you're going to get the hit, you go into stand light kick. So you can larry it and combo. I'm not sure if that would have worked at that range anyway. Yeah, might not have. Might have missed. So game one to Mago, who, who danced in and out. And, and it was good. Played it well. Wow, stand strong buffer throw and jumping at just a gorgeous angle great timing tough for keep to deal with that oh oh he did not have trigger yet and instead he gets the excess pd uh, goes for another one Mago but Mago patient. just gets out of there yeah oh okay knew that wasn't a true block string gets the the meaty yes yeah. was patient on it has one more chance on that, but not for much damage. Oh, it's Ooh, wow, nothing. really from Snake Eyes. I'm surprised. Uh, oh, now Crush Counter. Oh, but Mago doesn't combo it successfully. Yeah, Mago just playing, playing away at a range where he can anti air very easily. Oh, yeah, whiff punish. Well, no, no, too far. Snake Eyes has tried that a few times. That dash up EX SPD, it just hasn't really worked out for him. Well, that's part of the dancing that's been going on. So yeah. Mago, Mago sometimes plays at ranges where his buttons work, where he can whiff, or where he can just harass, right? That stand around house range. But then we've also seen him oftentimes backdash to a range where he can jump pretty comfortably, and also where, you know, he can he can do that. Round one. All right. Well, he's gonna stick with Zangief. So let's see how this is gonna work out for him. Again, every time I watch Snake Eyes play Zangief, I just can't help but feel like he's playing Street Fighter 4 Zangief in Street Fighter 5. It still feels like he's kind of doing that. I really like that jab to take advantage of things by Mago. He knows that Zangief doesn't really have advantage after a uh, top level jump medium kick. That hasn't worked. Yeah, he hasn't, hasn't worked been able once. To sneak into an SPD off he, of me, off of Dash. He tried instant air SPD, but uh, Mago was doing EXDP at the time. Right. That was the, the only chance so far for that. All right, good punish on that low roundhouse from max range with the low jab. Not gonna get much off of it. But, oh, throws him right out of the V reversal. It's hard to get Snake Eyes off of his anti-air game in that way to make him only pay attention to the ground, but that's what Mago's been able to do. Mago's been able to do far jump roundhouse, not get anti-aired with crouching gear starting. And then he's gonna get the hit off the low, go for the reset, stay in the front. Mago now on match point. We've got Round Banan Giv here. Point. Got the nice little hat on his head. Let's see if he can get anything going, because right now, Mago has controlled this match yes. from start to finish. And I still feel that we're not, you know, I like the jump timings from Mago, but I do feel that Snake Eyes could be anti-airing them if you were keeping his eyes fully open. It's hard to do. But again, just like this, that could have been a crouching fierce opportunity. Now the hardest part is, again, Oh, wow, he was holding up. Nice. One of the things about Snake Eyes is that he was really good at anti-airs from with the Lariat button. And after he lost the Lariat button, I just feel like He's had trouble changing that to Crouch Fierce. Oh, uh, he's, he's shooting for the moon right now. Yeah. Yeah, really. Uh, he wanted something big there. Never really got it. Mago playing very patiently. Knows he doesn't need to go in. He can just ha hang out here. This is a great range to anti air with the EXDP. Yep, and. If, Zang if Zangief were to jump. So he's just finding the opportunities to get those standing medium kicks in there. 
Yeah, see how he's just really just patient. I love how he's doing this. Yeah, this is this is excellently and done. And he's basically giving up no stage, like very, very little. He's going backwards, but very, very slowly, and eventually 